Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog after a bit of delay I know. I was totally busy with other stuff. One among that was helping my kids to get prepared for their exams. It will begin soon though they don't bother to call me for help. I felt they needed so. So yes, I was completely into their exam preparation. And if you have been following me on my Instagram, I was a bit active there posting reels and stories. Hope you have already seen those. I had no videos taken to edit and publish here, hence took out my camera to capture a few glimpses here and there. It was a weekday, kids had school and my husband had office. I am the first one to wake up early in the morning. Normally, kids don't eat anything before leaving, either a milkshake or just a cup of warm milk. On some days, it's flavoured milk. So their tiffin has a breakfast I prepare for that day. Usually it's one single dish for all and that's almost every day. Very rare I prepare something else for us and this was one such day. I prepared Spanish omelette for my kids Stephen. Couldn't make it for all as only two eggs were left. It really frustrates me when the pantry or fridge is almost empty and even more irritating is preparing different dishes. I prepare just one for all. Rihan who leaves home first. Arman leaves an hour later but I need to call him as soon as Rihan leaves. Arman needs more time to wake up from his sleep, get fresh and start his day. And I too don't like to rush him or anyone from sleep. You definitely need time or need to be calm to begin the routine. My husband is a last minute person but I am not. I can't get ready in 2 minutes. I need more time. I hate the last minute rushing for anything. It makes me go blank. If you know the time to get out from house or have a task to complete, always try to adjust the timing. That's how I manage everything. Not all are the same but this is me. Finally, I bought a container for salt. These are few very ripe bananas lying around. Didn't go for any recipe with it, instead stored it in the freezer for milkshake. I sometimes use the ice box as a storage space and it's very convenient. I already have another ice cube tray for the ice. Arman woke up with a bad throat and they were given instructions from school that if anyone is not well, they should be resting at home. So he knows he can't go to school. 
Anyways, exams are coming up. He needs rest, so I asked him to get fresh and eat from his tiffin that was packed for school. This is couscous and I'm making a couscous chickpea salad for me and my husband. I heated up some olive oil and sauteed onion, carrot and capsicum for just a few minutes. Added half a tomato. Had some cooked chickpeas in the fridge. Couscous needs no cooking. You take some and pour some hot boiling water over it just to cover that's all. Not more than that. Cover it with a lid. After 5 to 6 minutes, it gets fluffed up and absorbed in the water completely. Use a fork to mix. Using a bowl to mix in all the ingredients. You can season this with salt, pepper, chili flakes, coriander leaves and such. I love to add tuna to this. My husband is never a fan. So I mixed one tablespoon for me later. Had my workouts and Arman was given some work to finish. It's been so long that I wanted to eat the mandi we used to get from Romancia in Riyadh. Really miss the taste of it. Somewhat similar to that is the Saudi mandi I had prepared some time back. And recently I bought a roasting tin from IKEA which I had been looking to purchase from a long time. Finally got one. And this was mainly thought of because I wanted to easily make this mandi in it. If you want the detailed recipe for this I have done it earlier and will share the link of that video in the description box. This is done in the gas oven or any oven, but if you want to try it on stove top, I do have two videos done. We will again share those in the description box.
सो दिस इज द रोस्टिंग टिन आई बॉट Here's a metal rack to place the chicken pieces. If you don't have a roasting tin, you can check the other video to get an alternative method for this. This is a very flavorful mandi. Has got very less spices, very less ingredients, yet the flavor is amazing. Many of you had given me your feedback on this and thank you so much for taking time and sending me with pictures as well. My husband was supposed to come for lunch, later called up and told he had an urgent meeting to attend. So he will have this for dinner. The smoky flavor is a must for this guys. This is another one of the same that just got smashed on the floor you just saw. I bought this tiny cute sugar bowl though I don't know if I'll use it but really loved it. And this bowl looks really pretty with those prints on it. I have two of them. These bottles for my boys. This space is full now. While all the kitchen work and its cleaning is being done, kids take a break and then later I ask them to take out their books for revising exam portions. This money plant was placed in the living room earlier but I do bring it to the window side to get some sunlight and later take it back. I don't do this every day. I keep it for a day or two and then place it back in the living room for a week. Living room has no windows and the sunlight is zero there. I love the prints on the duvets in IKEA and recently got one. There was a bedroom festival that was going on in IKEA offered a lot for many bedroom products at a very low price. For me these give pleasures in life and I find happiness in these. It might not be the same for all or home arrangements are my area of happiness and I try to recreate or rearrange once in a while. Do let me know what you love to do. Okay. 
I always keep a brownie ready to make back in my pantry because my kids love them and I don't make it every time. Once in a while they insist and even I was in need of some. I crave for such treats when I feel low, but I make sure to tell myself that it's okay to be not okay sometimes. There are times we need a break when we are totally stressed out and feel like screaming loud or cry out. Sometimes we need to be all alone and enjoy our me time. One thing I do when my mood is dull is to either make a cup of tea or coffee and sip it to the fullest. Even though most of the days I eat healthy, I still have days when I crave for not so healthy dishes, but thanks to my workout, I'm able to balance it all. Exercise is one thing I try to do without fail because that keeps my mental health positive. So on such low feeling days, I can have a small piece of chocolate or cake guilt free. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. See you soon with another vlog. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.